Kentucky. Uh, check this story out right here. New tonight neighborhoods plagued by prostitution in plain sight. Different parts of Southeast San Diego have become so overrun with prostitution that businesses are literally packing up and residents are living in fear. My acquaintance, Kimberly Hunt, has spent days speaking with people in these communities. She joins us live from SDPD headquarters downtown. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Wale. Yes, the crew and I did have to get out of the fray of what we will be talking about in those areas. So we're right here in front of the police headquarters downtown. But prostitution is so out in the open in parts of southeast San Diego, oh, such oh, as parts of Barrio Logan, oh, Shelltown, oh, oh, Southcrest, and into National City. There is no other way to describe oh, it other man. than to say sex is for sale in San Diego. Here's how oh, one resident God. describes it. I can't tell you how many there are, but I could tell you either like three, four o'clock in the morning, sometimes five in the morning out there doing their, doing jumping on cars. When I sometimes when I work at night, I come by and they, they try to jump on a car and I'm like, get away. I close my doors, lock my doors lock, and close my windows. The neighbors tell me that pimps play loud music all night long. They carry guns and they've turned these areas into open air sex markets. And it's also bringing in a dangerous element. It is dangerous for the employees to get into and out of the business. It's dangerous for family members trying to get into and out of their homes. And this same neighbor tells me about the time that his niece was trying to just visit him and found herself in the clutch of a man trying to force her to get into a car. Man, what? I'm a little unclear um, what actually happened when they tried to kidnap your, your niece. Would you just describe to me what happened? What happened is uh, my niece brought me a, a container that I left at the house, and she, um, and I closed it when she left, I closed the door, but something told me to look out there and open the door. So I opened the door, and I saw a Guy, one of the guys just trying to grab her from her wrist. So I ran out there trying to chase him and then he just ran, he just ran. One father and mother spoke to me with their two little children by their side. He grew up in these areas and said the rough parts of San Diego have never bothered him until the prostitution got so out of hand. His children can't go outside anymore. And after he confronted a crowd in front of his driveway, somebody put a bullet into the front of his house. Another woman too afraid to speak, even in shadow, told me that the music shakes the walls of her house all night long Man, and she's forced what? to walk back and forth to her car in the middle of a line of pimps on the sidewalk who make it very yeah. clear they own the streets here but it's not just nature bro a line of pimps out on the stroll man Neighbors, businesses are also impacted. And coming up at 5.30, this is all a preview of a story, a special report at 11 p.m. tonight, where I will show you the things that I've just described to you. My photographers and I have gone into these hot spots. We have seen a lot of this for ourselves. And some of our video will shock you. This does not look like America's finest city. Yeah, like even when even when I lived in San Diego, it you know you kind of saw it, but I ain't never seen that, bro. That's that's like going down to TJ. Yeah, it's right there. Right, like that's right. There. Yeah, that feels like yeah. I'm in Thailand. Yeah, seeing that, yeah. bro. Yeah. That's the U.S. <laughs> yeah, yes, it is. <laughs> Yes, it is, buddy. Um, a line of pimps is crazy, though. A line and then they're the, the mistaking your 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 ne your niece as a prostitute is crazy. That because if she just walking in that area, that lets you know that there's like real trafficking going on, where they can yeah, just man. you know grab them up, and you know. 
those poor ladies, man, they just, they just out there with, they, you know, mark marketing themselves the best way they know how. And that's a shame. Man, you know, those, um, constructions, construction workers are truck drivers. Yes, I do know. They are going crazy. <laughs> they take they, all they taking all routes to San Diego. Yeah. Yeah, they 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 are if they got to drop their load off in LA, they're definitely taking the long way back and stopping through San Diego. Yeah. Because well, somebody's keeping them in business, dog. Exactly. That's what I always go back to is just like how are you staying in business? You have mm-hmm. customers. Business is booming actually booming yeah sleeping with, sleeping with the streetwalker is 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 so dangerous dog people don't that's playing with your life dog Jeez. a street crawler Jeez. oh man yeah bro that's that that's like a horror movie bro like geez yeah and you think that it's just uh you know rapid in san diego but yes again in, it's in new york too during school hours, they're out. Brothels. All the prostitution is taking up every single block. <laughs> they will be out with their pimps, and they don't pimps. care. Jaylene Lugo is 14 years old and taking the number seven train home from high school for the first time. With a Kirby doll on her book bag. Her walk on Roosevelt Avenue is a jolt out of childhood innocence. I've seen teenage boys go, go up to the prostitutes. In one busy spot on 90th Street, men are led downstairs to a brothel. Listen, going, having to walk to school in high school, teenage boys, what do you think they're doing? You think they're going to school or going into one of them brothels? They're going in there busing. <laughs> All day, yo. They're they're busting the door down. Get you, get you a shot before school, yo. That's crazy. I need a hit. We need to hit a some some butt. I need a hit. A, I need a shot of butt. A shot of bus head before I get in there. <laughs> yo. I didn't know it was this, like this, bro. This is turning into a red light district in Bangkok. You walk oh! up and down uh, from the 70s all the way down Not to the 100s. Bangkok. And all you're going to see are different massage parlors with women outside soliciting men. There's no moral compass anymore. Pix11 even found women sitting on mattresses outside a furniture store near 93rd Street. Oh. One of many scenes unsettling Jaylene's mother. I grew up in this neighborhood. I've been here for 31 years. I was born and raised here. And what I'm seeing here today is not what I grew up seeing. We have been reporting on sex workers and trafficking on Roosevelt Avenue for nearly 20 years. The numbers we're seeing now seem unprecedented. This is happening during school hours, and it's even worse at night. On a recent Friday, PIX11 News saw activity in the 80s on Roosevelt Avenue with one man apparently steering customers to a spot that was close to a barber shop. We are seeing more Latina women um, doing prostitution. I think those women have no other options. Some are Venezuelan, Colombian, and they are uh, having their own massage parlors alongside with the Asians. By day, PIX11 News noticed a row of women near a physical therapy office on 92nd Street. The manager inside telling us it's hurting his business. Because patients, they don't, they, die, they don't want to come in to do therapy because they are like uh, being harassed. We spotted a surveillance camera over the tiny hallway where the alleged brothel is located, which had wallpaper on its door. Eddie said police shut it down several weeks ago. I was happy, and then after two weeks, they came again. The manager of a cell phone store on the other side is also aggravated. Porque nos afecta el negocio. Los clientes no quieren entrar aparte de... In late September, Masia Lugo organized a march along Roosevelt Avenue, carrying posters in the rain. But she said she's having a hard time getting the attention of politicians. 
At one point, she attended a town hall run by the Queensboro president, Donovan Richards. When he ended the meeting, I said, what about all the questions regarding prostitution? Because we all submitted questions regarding the prostitution, and they skipped all those questions. Um, he did not like that I spoke out. He said, do not call out. But when the cameras turned off, he spoke to me on the side, and he told me this has been a problem for many years, and I was like, not to this extent. Mayor Adams, come back here and start taking care of business. We need New York and we need Queens to start to look the way it's supposed to. And it's not like this. Mayor Adams has told us he'd be willing to make a visit with us to Roosevelt Avenue. He has already checked out the situation at least once at 1.30 in the morning. That's wild, bro. Roosevelt Ave, man. That's a... Uh... They're not going to be able to get the attention of the, the, the politicians and stuff because the politicians are keeping them in business, man. Like, let's, let's be for real. They, they, like, they're like, I mean, prostitutes have a, 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 you know, a, a, a niche, you know what I'm saying? And they know how, who to, you know, they target politicians and stuff. Right. Yeah. What's up, New York Teddy? <laughs> the Lord is good. <laughs> hey, what what's up with your state, man? <laughs> Can you hear me? Huh? What you mean? Oh, what what, what I see what's going on. You say about the sex trafficking? Yeah, have you have you seen a uh, Yeah, I'm driving right now so I can hear you. I heard about you said it was sex trafficking. Yeah, what what do you think? Um, what do you think about that? Have you seen a um, a uptick of that in New York? Oh, I think his uh, good answer. I think I think his um, I think he out of service. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, happens we, when you when you move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're, yeah. We'll catch him when he um get uh some wi-fi or something like that got you but yeah bro yeah. like that that looks like that looks like real like thailand you know red you light, said it you said it red light district for real bro like san diego new york that's i did not know it was happening like that over here bro like yeah I did not know what was happening. So they should, they should, this is going to be, this is the unpopular opinion, but they should legalize it so they can control it. You know what I mean? They should, like, they should legalize yeah. it. So Hello? It. That's Yo. how they do Hello? it now. Hello? What up, man? What's up, Yeah, man? my fault, my fault. It, it, yeah, it froze, my fault. Oh, no, nah, you good, you good. Yeah. So now, nah, can, you, can you say your question again? I said, um, since you've been um, going to New York, like, have you seen the uptick, like in your, like your own eyes? Well, for for sex trafficking. Yeah, just like um, red light districts, you know, brothels and things like that. Have you seen those? Nah, in New of York? course. Like, no, nah, no, nah, of course, because if you you can get, you can get a cut, like you can get some good things for like, you know, it's gonna cost you. But if you want something that might give you a disease, it's gonna cost you a chopped cheese. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I'll be honest with you, like if you, if you, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you from the source, like you know, it rules real, real militant out there, like you know, I'm. Still telling us. I'm just first being honest, experience. like you know, like if you want something that's right, but if you, you gonna get a disease if it costs a chopped cheese. <laughs> Hey, oh, they, just, just a chopped cheese, that's it? That's a gel. I'm talking the, the cheap chopped cheese, man. <laughs> you know, like. Right, right. You, don't want, they don't want, you don't want no red light. You don't want no red light district in New York at all. I'm telling you, it's not safe. Right, right, right. But if you do, I can put the I can put my number in the No, in the chat. no, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, nah, no, 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 whoa, whoa. Hey, just, easy. Oh, easy, brother. Easy. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> hey, cut his mic. Cut his mic. Yeah. Yo, cut his mic. Oh, I'll, just, 
My boy went pimp mode. Yeah, hey, and he's one of the pimps that's lined up in San Diego. The they was talking about, yeah. <laughs> oh man, Jeez. That, that's crazy. That's crazy. No, nah, I'm sorry. I was just joking. I don't, I don't uh, want to get y'all in trouble on your oh, podcast, but you know. Oh, you was just joking, though. Yeah, no, nah, I was yeah. just joking, you know. Yeah, no, nah, I was just playing, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, but, true, true. <laughs> true, you know. But it's good, man. It's my first time joining y'all y'all podcast. Uh, you know, uh, you know, you got good topics. I had to I had to get on there and spread the truth, you know. Oh, true. Yeah, I appreciate that. Of we course, we, yes. we we love the um the eyewitness accounts, you know. Um Of yeah. course. No, yeah. I'm not even just I'm not even just the eyewitness, but I've been in there witnessing with something else, not with yeah. the eyes. We Oh, we bro. know exactly what you're talking about, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, bro. Bro. Yeah, I thought you had made it pretty clear the first time. <laughs> like, we know where, we know we know from where you come from, dog. We know <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. All right. In, I, yeah. Yeah. My dog said, I've been in them doors, man. I, I, yeah. I've been in them doors. <laughs> believe me. And guess what? Too many chopped cheeses I had. See, this is. Whoa. Hey, man. I'm glad you up here telling the truth, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Hey, no face, no case. I ain't even. Nah, ain't no even... face. No, nah, if y'all see my face, I'd have been like, yo. We'd have been on some Bible shit. But come on, oh, my Vegas. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> this guy. Oh, oh man. Hey, cut his mic, man. <laughs> cut his mic, please. Now. We got we got Don Julio's over here. We got Hennessy's. I'm wild. I'm sorry. You see, if oh, I'd have walked in there, you see, I see why it's called the wrap up podcast. If I'd have wrapped up, we'd have been all right. <laughs> oh, you going back down there. You going back down there tonight, huh? Oh my! Yes, God. yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's uh, let's let's cut him off real quick. And, uh, <laughs> let's 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 cut the mic real quick before it gets too I wild. Be, I, I would be honest with you, bro. You ain't gonna be able to use none of that on the shorts. <laughs> you ain't gonna be use none of that. You ain't catch it live. You just like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, we we uh we we'll get him on another part. I think that was a yeah, little too. Yeah, um... yeah, yeah. We'll we'll get him on another on another show. Yeah, because he he came in doing damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah. So. <laughs> Wait, bruh. Waiting to waiting until your first time to call up to admit to hidden projects is wild. <laughs> chopped cheese <laughs> for the chopped cheese oh chopped man cheese where, to give where you do, a disease <laughs> where do we go from there um yeah man all right so okay so um <laughs> this guy is insane um yeah, so man. you know how we've been having a uptick in um Protests. I was about to say um, prostitution. You know how we've been having a uptick in uh, protests, right? Yes, sir. Um, there has been a lot of fatigue in protesters, uh, and not just in the U.S. You know, uh, around the world, um, people, you know, regular citizens have been getting tired.